right. <laughs> Hi. I was just working with the new screen. Oh, there we go. A little lag time. Hello. Set that down just a little bit so we're not getting so much shine off that light. Okay, who joined? Say hello so I can see you. Yeah, that's better. I'm going to turn on another light just a second. Alexa off. Welcome. All right, we've got a few cups I need to make tonight. Happy Friday night. I don't know about you guys, but it was a long week for me. I'm glad it's Friday. Can you hear me okay? A little too much in there. Hello. Say hi so I can see you. I like to know who I'm talking with. How's everybody doing tonight? Just getting my mica powders put out here. And I'll go through the whole thing, what I'm getting ready to do. Ooh, I keep getting too much in there. Welcome, can you hear me? Hey Kristen, how are you doing tonight? I know, I know. I was going to go to a movie, and I decided I was too tired. I'd probably fall asleep in the movie, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and I had a few cups to make tonight, so I figured I'll be on later, so those that were expecting me at 9 should be able to still join. Because i got a few things I can work on. I keep you jumping, you know. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Say hi so I can see who it is. Can you hear me okay and see me okay? Yeah, <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> You know, it's Friday night, everybody's trying to get home, they're probably out dinner, what have you, but uh, I figure there'll be a few of these lives even this weekend, because we're going to do that one tomorrow afternoon sometime to show everybody how to make a turner, um, so that'll be fun, and uh, tonight I've got um, a couple of cups I want to make, and then I've got a few prepped, if we want to do something else, we can talk about that too, make some choices there, I have some... Um, vinyl images I want to put on the cup and I can show you guys how I do that. Oh no, Linda, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, do what you can, but you got to take care of yourself first. These get recorded, so that's the nice thing. So when you can't sleep in the middle of the night, you can go watch a video. <laughs> I have not ever done that. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long week. I don't know. I'm so happy Friday's here. <clears throat> and I haven't, knock on wood, caught that flu bug that's been going around or the cold or anything. We stay kind of isolated, really. And every time I go to Walmart, I wipe down the cart thing, you know, with a little handle and stuff. So that helps. Hi, Nanette. How you doing tonight? <laughs> so... <clears throat> going to catch y'all up a little bit. So the last live that we did, I told you this was the first step. We were going to um, 
do the glitter, you know, the first layer of glitter, and then it's the peekaboo. So what I'm getting ready to do is put the logos onto the peekaboo. And um, I, I have to say, this is why I, I'm not a fave. I love the look of the of the holographic and the big um, chunky glitters, but I hate working with it because I had to really sand and get these smooth, you know, and so I put another layer of resin on there because you want it smooth before you put any of your decals or anything on. <laughs> Hazmat suit, Kristen, I'm sorry. I understand. I've been down that road a few times or two. I used to blame it on the kids with, uh, you know, when they were in school and in the daycare, because I swear they caught everything. They were like little Petri dishes, and they'd bring it home for me. It's like, thank you very much. Um, so on this cup, I have a bunch of holographic vinyl um, stencils I'm going to put on it, and these are going to stay on it. So that's the difference of my peekaboo. I'm not pulling these off. So they're going to be permanent. <clears throat> now, I have a lag um, from this tool I'm using. Hey, Marilyn, welcome. And uh, I just want to ask, is it, am I in sync for you? You know, you're seeing my lips moving with my voice. Because then I can just ignore what I see. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be a pretty color on that, on that cup, right? So I gotta wait for it to catch up, make sure y'all can see it. There we go. Yeah, I got quite a lag. <clears throat> so I'm gonna work on these tonight and um, I figured, you know, we can do it on, on the live too because I don't know how many of you have done uh, decals on your cup. So it might be something you're interested in seeing. Um, the first cup we're going to work on is my version of a scuba diving cup. So Lisa gave me inspiration when she did her cup in our group. Um, you guys might have seen her cup. And she did the red and white scuba diving flag with a couple of scuba divers on it. Oh, good, Kristen. Thank you. And so I got to thinking more about that. And I was like, I really like that. I used to dive myself. I loved it. So the inspiration came from her. What I'm going to do tonight is an underwater scene. So um, we're going to use all the ocean colors. I'm going to use uh, mica powders, right? Our fave mica powders. Whoop, there. And I'm going to use also some alcohol inks to mix in um, and make the underwater look, you know, nice and fluid. And then when it's dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint some um, uh, surface water, I call it, right? So at the very top of the cup, I'm going to have that, like the sun's hitting the top of the surface of the water. Um, look and a few sunbeams coming down and then I'm going to be putting these decals on it so these are the reef decals I have that I found and I've got a lot of the reef fish and the turtles and stuff like that and my divers are right here so this is the first cup we're making And we're making it on <clears throat> my new cups. These are the big 32 ounce, um, but they have a small hand, you know, handhold here. Uh, big 32 ounces we got over from the uh, Royal King or King Royal store. Um, they had them on sale, so I grabbed them. Hey, Marilyn. Nothing. We're just getting started. Hey, Brenda. Welcome. Yeah, here's the glitter cup we did from the last live. I just wanted to show, you know, I did, I, sm I sanded it down, put another resin coat on, and tonight I'm going to put some decals on. So in case some people haven't seen how a decal is put on um, vinyl, uh, I wanted to show that. Yep, we're making turners tomorrow. <clears throat> so um, what we'll figure out what time, but I'm thinking... You know, sometime after lunch hour, you know, maybe like, um, maybe, maybe between, you know, one and, and four, somewhere in there. We'll see. I'll put a notice on the uh, site once I figure out the time. I Google for all of my images, uh, Linda, and um, 
and sometimes I modify them a little bit in, uh, I typically use Cricut. If I can't uh, modify it enough in Cricut, then I use the Inkscape or um, my, uh, I have Adobe, so I can kind of play with it and modify the image a little bit. So I just spend a lot of time Googling things. I get, I get inspiration about ideas of things I want to do, and then I go out and look for images that might meet up for it. It's amazing what you can find out there. Okay, so um, like I said, we're doing the mica powders. We've got alcohol inks that, that will match those, and we're going to do the water scene. Okay, so this honking baby, 32 ounces. Um, I figure we're going to start with an ounce this time of resin, uh, only because I have to split it up across five mica powders, and, um, and it's, it, it's a bigger cup right so the nice thing is it's conducive to the design I'm talking about because I figured this bubble top up here will be really good for um, the, the surface of the water coming down shining down you know as you get to the to the to the reef area it gets a little bit sandy and dark down there and you've got your rocks and your reef and your fish and then so the scuba divers will be up here somewhere probably going towards the the reef so um, I think it's gonna be a fun cup okay so I've got the first part already poured in here. I'm going to put the second part of my resin here. I have a two-part resin. I use MAS Moss, and I get it off of, it's a countertop resin, I get it off of Amazon. They are located in Minnesota, St. Paul, Minnesota, which, you know, if you've been watching the weather, they are getting a horrific winter. So if you are going to order resin, I would recommend before you hit the order button, maybe that you message the company and ask them if the resin can be safely shipped to you. Because obviously being trucked, it's going to freeze in that kind of climate. <clears throat> I haven't needed to order it yet uh, since the winter really got bad, so that's a good thing. But I'm getting close. Of course, we're almost 80 down here in Florida. It's like, oof, I'm ready. I'm ready to get the summer going. Skip spring, just go straight to summer. So we're just going to mix this up. I need an Amazon affiliate link. I do, right? I do. I had the funniest thought the other night. I was just, I just to do this. And sometimes I just start laughing out loud and, and I think about it and I'm like, somebody's going to think I'm nuts one of these days because I could do it in the store or whatever. But I was thinking and laughing, saying, oh, maybe I could do a cute, a fun contest with you guys one time on live and ask questions, you know, and, and one of the questions would be, where does Jean get most of her supplies? <laughs> I thought, man, that's an easy giveaway, right? <laughs> Amazon! I was like, what would we do without Amazon? I think I would actually, I would actually, I would be in mourning. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I didn't have Amazon available to me anymore. I would so be in mourning. I'd have to go to the store all the time. It's like, uh-uh. I actually went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. They had their 40% sale going on. I don't know when that ends. So if you haven't gone, uh, you might want to check them out because the Cricut supplies, the alcohol, Tim Holtz alcohols, all that stuff is 40% off. So little Miss Jean got it down there and bought a bunch of inks. <laughs> I'm running low, and that's a good time to buy them when they're on sale. Keep your costs down, right? Because normally it's 40% off of one item, but this time it was 40% off of each item. What do y'all think of my new screen? Now you can see my face and you can see the work. What do you think? That took some configuring, I have to say. And I got the microphone figured out. <laughs> It was the last, the first time I tried to run it, it was picking up my microphone off my webcam, off my laptop, and off of the microphone I have, um, the USB microphone. <laughs> it was having a joyous day trying to capture Jean's voice. So we had quite the echo. Yeah, you like it? Good. Thank you. Well, you know, Mom made a good point. She's funny. She likes to harass me, but she's, she's right. You know, it is nice to see who you're talking to. Um, from a teaching perspective, right? We all like that. Okay. Set my stick down. I'm just going to pour in my resin into my different mica powders. 
don't need so much white, so I'm not going to put as much in there. And I've got a, like a royal blue mica powder. I like the brighter colors when I do the ocean. And I always add a little green or, um, or a pretty aqua green to it. Because when you look at the ocean colors, uh, you know, you've got your lighter areas where it's shallower. And they tend to get a little um, aqua, green, that kind of color. And where the sun's going through. And then it gets darker because it usually gets deeper and there's no sandy bottom that it can reflect the sun. So um, then you have a little darker colors. So I like to kind of work with that mentality whenever I do my ocean scenes. <clears throat> Just pouring these out. So y'all would laugh at me. I <laughs> You've seen my mishaps here, right? The camera going into the resin, tripping over cores, knocking over things, right? So we've had a few of those together on the lives. And um, I just had to laugh because I decided last weekend to do my closet. And I don't think I shared this with y'all. And when we moved in here, it was pretty fast and furious. And we did a lot more renovation than we thought we were going to have to do. So we didn't get quite as much done to my bedroom and places like that because we were focused on more of the space like kitchen and bathrooms and things like that. So <laughs> finally a year later we circled back and I told my mom, I was like, yeah, I gotta work on my ki my closet. It's driving me crazy. Because they had those god-awful old by um, folding doors, you know, and there's, I think they started out white, but they ended up kind of a mucky yellow and so it was driving me crazy. I said, I can't keep these. And um, so I ripped all of those out, took all the tracks out, and I hung curtains. Um, I got some pretty curtains off of Wayfair. So that's what I have in front of my closet and in the office closet. And I was like, okay, one of these days I'll figure out what I want to do. <laughs> so I decided to pull everything out of my closet, and I went and bought a couple of closet organizer shelves and hanging uh, rods and things like that to put in there, which I had to build. And um, then, of course, when I pulled everything out, the walls inside the closet also needed painting because they were god-awful yellow, and um, they weren't supposed to be yellow. They just never had been touched in 18 years, right? So they just show the age. And um, so I needed to freshen it up, so I had to get some white paint in the closet. Oh, my God, it's so small. I'm used to walk-in closets, so I had to really figure out how I was going to create space in this closet. Needless to say, I had paint all over me. My hair my bottom, my arms, my legs. <laughs> Every time I moved in the closet to paint something, I rubbed into something I just painted. So <laughs> it was, I was bad. Hey, Lisa, thank you. Okay, so Lisa, you missed it. I'm giving you credit. I am um, working on a scuba cup right here, but mine's gonna be an underwater scene. So it's gonna be, uh, the top part is gonna be under, you know, like they're going into the water. So I'm gonna have I'll come back and do some surface water on the top after the after it's dry. And then I'm going to have my reef, reef. Here's my scuba divers. Okay. And then I'm going to have the reef on the bottom here, going around the bottom with all the fish. So, like you said, I'm just taking your taking your idea and I'm changing it up a little. So, thank you for that. I love your cup. I love I love that scuba diving and the fishing cup. I tell you, I, I used to scuba dive so much, and I just loved it. I can't anymore because I hurt my ear on one of my dives, and I just can't go under the water like that anymore. But that's okay. You know, everything has a time and place for everything, I think. I had a lot of fun with my diving. Met a lot of great people, too. Hey, Pixie, or Mom. <laughs> I'm so proud of my mom, you guys. She has figured out how to get on Facebook, how to get into the lives, how to chat. I just, I think she's, she's just great. She's really picked up the technology. I'm so proud of her. Uh, let's see, I need to wipe this off. Don't want to contaminate my white. So hopefully everybody had a good week. I'm just glad it's over and we're into Friday. Now this white, <clears throat> the micas that I got from Amazon, from that kit, 
you know, they're all marked with Chinese. I don't know what they're calling them, but this white and another white I have in that kit have just a hue of color. So what happens is it's almost like a, what do you call it, a shift, a color shift. Um, so it's white and it's got some yellow in it, but I think that's perfect because I want to bring in a little bit of that sun ray look, you know, coming in from the top. So that'll be the last thing I add, dribble it in there. That's the concept anyway. We'll see if everything comes together. If the stars are aligned, it's going to look gorgeous. Now i got to turn this on. Hang on a second. <laughs> the switch is back here. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Now this is the, the bigger cup, like I said. This is a 32-ounce uh, cup. Oh, come on. There we go. And um, But the bottom is very small. It'll fit in the cup holders. And for women's hands, it's nice. So I figured I'd go ahead and get some. They were on sale. All right. Let me think how I want to do this. So I want to go light to dark. Or dark to light, I'm sorry. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Light to dark from the top. I'm going to start from the top. So, I'm just going to stir this on, then we'll rub it in. Don't you like my tech, tech talk? I know, happy Friday for sure. Happy Friday. Okay. Well, I'm so glad that, that my new window is working. I really like the look of it. I um, A friend of mine, online friend, um, that I go used to, well, I met her. She owns a group. And it was back in my painting days when I did more paintings than I did, did cups. Um, but anyway, she had this look, and I was just like, wow, that is so cool, because you could always see her face. So I was like, that's nice. It is nice. <clears throat> but it's not always easy to do when you just have the one camera, because um, by the time you're seeing my face, then you're kind of far away from the object that we're doing, right? Which is kind of the muting the point of sharing that, that work. I want you to see it up close, see the tr um, transition that it takes. So we're just gonna I might even need more resin this because I haven't done this size cup it's an experiment to see but I started out with an ounce of resin and I just want to bring some of that light down in here the thing is you know when you're doing these it's nice to mix your color down right so you're taking those colors and you're going to bring them down a little bit because the water isn't just one color. That's how you get kind of those shades. All right, so I'm going to keep these cups because I don't know if I have to mix again or not. And let's go with this one. And then I'm, I've got some alcohol inks as well that I'm going to help blend in with these a little bit. I like that look. I don't know if y'all saw it, but um, the Nikki uh, secret sauce, she's <laughs> she's out, so she's ordering some more, and she pinged me, and she says, oh my goodness, she said, I had such an influx, I laughed, I said, well, you're welcome, <laughs> I said, it's an addiction, and it's spreading, <laughs> I love that stuff, so how many of you purchased some and, and have it, or are or, or waiting on it, and, and used it yet? Yeah, I don't have any affiliation to anybody. I just, or any of their products. I just, if I like it, you know, I'm a good promoter. I believe in that. And if I don't like it, um, you know, I typically just move on. I don't talk about it, but unless somebody asks me. Or unless it was a really, really bad experience. Speaking of which, I had kind of a bad experience not too long ago with a uh, um, gal that bought a couple of my Harry Potter cups. She uh, 
she really, really loves Harry Potter. I mean, she was a big-time fan of Harry Potter, and she wanted to order the cup, and I was like, cool. So she got the first cup, and then she says, oh, I love it so much in person, you know. She said, i got to get another cup. She says, but um, I can't pay for it, you know, right now. Give me a couple of weeks. I can pay for it. So because she was already a customer, she was good. She paid on time and everything. I said, oh, that's okay. I'll go ahead and make it and get it sent, and you pay me, you know, in a couple of weeks. So I put the invoice and delayed the invoice. I haven't gotten paid. I don't think she's going to pay me. I know, I need a special sauce. <laughs> Kristen, you're cracking me up. You're waiting to get it, you're saving it for supplies. Okay, Lisa, you're gonna love it, I'm telling you. It is a really neat glitter. It's just a real fine glitter, but the, but she's got that glow powder in there too. I just love how it interacts with everything. You know, it's funny because when you do it this way, it's hard to tell right away if you have enough resin, so we'll see here. Like I said, I can mix some up quickly. I like this cup. I mean, it is very different looking. Isn't it amazing, though, all the different shapes of the cups. They're all the same size roughly, but then you get these different radical different shapes. Like I've got four different sizes I was showing you, different looks I should say, of the 20 ounce cups. Four different looks. The short and fat that looks like this one kind of. Um, then you've got the the uh, built tumblers from Walmart. You know they've got that nice slender look. Um, short I call them. They're short. And then I've got the tall slenders that are also 20. And those are cool looking too. Uh, and then there's one more and it's by um, Ozark, I believe, that I've got. So it gives a nice variation for people. Okay, there's the green. These are really pretty colors. Yeah, see now you can see the cup up close. Isn't that cool? Oh good, thanks mom. And you like my face, you can see my face. <laughs> I should come with a warning tonight because I really am kind of weird. Lack of sleep, worry, stress, I don't know. Looks like he's got spotted fever right now. Yeah, I was going to wait till 9. I decided not to do the movie. Um, only because I'm just, I'm kind of in that, I just feel tired. So I, I'm afraid I just fall asleep in the movie. I don't want to do that. And uh, so I was like, now, nah, I'll see you later this weekend. I want to go see... Um, the Liam Neeson, Nielsen, uh, he's in that Cold Pursuit. I don't know if anybody's seen it or not. I haven't seen a whole lot of talk about it, so I don't know if it's any good, but I like him. He's played so many radical different roles. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Don't forget the bottom of the cup. These little things, digging them out like that, it reminds me of those little pudding cups during school. <laughs> Told you, I'm getting weird. Okay, now we're going to heat it up. Oh, by the yeah, I showed y'all the warning about these heat guns, you need to make sure that you put them out of your way once you've run them because you'll burn yourself pretty nasty reaching across and doing stuff. Alright, so let's heat this up and see how much resin we need to create here. I'm thinking maybe another half an ounce. Your finish is always wavy. Thank you, Lisa. 
Yeah, a heat gun does make a difference, you guys. It really does. I have a torch and I have a heat gun. They both serve different purposes for me. Um, I like the torch when I need to just pop some bubbles quickly. But the heat gun helps me move the resin. And let me get um, something to put under this cup. Hold on a second. In case I spill resin everywhere, I want to make sure it's not getting all over. Okay. So he's moving a little bit here. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and scoop up my resin that I'm going to need before I get my gloves all wet. I think I'm still going to need some here. We'll just do, I'm going to do another eight milliliters of each. Part A, part B. Uh, you know, sometimes when your resin dries wavy, there's a few things that can cause that. Um, also, which is level. You know, you want to make sure it's level. You want to make sure that you don't have a lot of chatter on your um, turner. If it's chattering, right, if it's bouncing, it's going to create waves. So a lot of things can play into that. All right, so now I want to just kind of mix it this way so you're not blending all the colors and losing your depth. Okay. It's interesting because there's a lot more resin on, you know, when you heat it up and get it moving than you think. That's why it's good to check. But I do need more. More! Please, can I have some more? When I did big projects, I think the biggest one I did was four feet by six feet with resin. I had to have my mom as my helper because, you know, at that point you have to keep things moving and you have to have somebody helping you mix your resin. Um, and uh, when I was doing something else that needed my attention, then she'd help me uh, heat the resin, you know, with the blowgun and things like that. There was no way I could do that kind of project or lift that project to tilt it by myself. Oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is really... <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving these colors. So I want to put in just a little bit more resin because you can see, um, actually, you know what, I think, let's try it without for now. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the alcohol inks. Mm -hmm. There's a few spots there. Okay, we're going to mix it a little bit. I don't need all that though. Let's just do and I'm going to do four of each. Let's see how that works. Use my stick. Oh man, look at that color. Yeah, it has been a hard week, Lisa. I agree with you. The um the I, I don't know what it is about this well, I do. I do. We've got a lot going on in our house right now emotionally. You know, we're still waiting to hear from the surgeon on mom on her CT scan result. We still have not heard on that. So we don't know what exactly we're facing beyond what we know. And it sounds like my dad might have some problems too with his prostate. So, boy, I tell you, when it rains, it pours. So it's been a tough week. I think what I'm going to do... I 
let's see if I can pour this out <laughs> without losing a whole bunch. Here we go. I'm just picking kind of a medium of the of the green, the teal, because I think that will blend in nice with the rest of it. Kind of like your base color, so it doesn't matter if I'm adding more to it. But right there on that curve, right? That's where you can start seeing it stretching. It's not wanting to stay covering on the cup. So that's how I can tell I needed more resin. Okay. Uh, all these little white spots. I could put alcohol ink on there and cover, but the thing is you're very, very thin on your resin and um, it, it might, it might uh, pit as it's drying. Okay. Because resin will stretch and if it doesn't have enough elasticity to it, I want to call that, it's my word of explaining it. Um, then it will pit, pull apart and dry with an open pit. So um, I know sometimes these folks are having trouble when they show a picture of their issue, then I can kind of tell if that was it or um, if it was something else. You know, it's easier to explain a problem when we could see a picture of the problem. So remember that if y'all want to help solve a problem you're running into. Get some more color on the base of this cup. And um, do that, do that, do that, okay. I'm going to heat this again. Keep it loose, keep it loose. All right, so I like that. Okay, I'm going to take my glove off for now and cover this back up so I don't spill it all over. And then we're going to put just a little bit of alcohol ink in there. Um, now you could, instead of using alcohol ink, you could also spray a little rubbing alcohol on here and it will give you another effect. But I do like using these two mediums together. I feel like it gives it more dimension. Um, and being that it's an underwater scene, that's what I'm going for. So this is the Zig ink, um, and it is the Pale Aqua, which really has a lot of green. So you just kind of have to play with some of their colors, but I do like them. And I just got that all over my finger. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of the, what do they call this one? Light blue. So the alcohol, you can see it's making it move. It's, it's creating kind of a dimension there. <clears throat> like the twilight zoom. I'm going to add a little bit of the blue Tim Holtz. I'm 
we're going to heat it to move it again. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Lisa. Now, I'm not making this cup for anything but my show, so if anybody wants to buy it before my show, uh, you go, if you buy it, you know, if you message me tonight after, or during my live or after my live, you can get 10%. And I do free shipping in the U.S. Holy cow, man. I have to say, that's really looking good. I like that blue down there. You know, I think one of the things that I like about this artwork is that it's different every time. I don't get tired of making them. Let me grab my spray. Hold on. I think, um, you know, this is, this is the kind of thing that if I could work it full time and support myself and my family, I would definitely do it. This is the kind of thing you wake up and you're excited about. That's how I feel. And it really helps after a stressful day at work or whatever, you know, get your mind off of things. Because you're just focusing on your art. Now, it's bubbling. Let's see if I can show you how it comes around here. There's a little bubble coming up here. Um, let's go down. Let's see if it'll move to the end of the cup. And um, I think what's happening is that's where the seal is, you know, right here. That's where the seal is of the cup. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and keep those bubbles out. Not really the seal, but you know, the, the, the crease. So I think there's air in, trapped in there. Now, I bet y'all didn't think about this trick. I do this with my paintings. Because what happens with resin, right, it moves. And in this case, we want to capture... Oh, what happened? Hang on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> delay. I keep forgetting I have a delay and I lost the cup on the picture. Um, but you can see, you know, you're getting movement now, right? <laughs> I'm sorry I have a I have a delay so it's it's like oh my goodness okay <clears throat> I forget about that I do don't I mom <laughs> can't imagine why we're only at the ocean every day I grew up at the ocean I have salt water in my veins yeah that's cool if I liked mermaids I'd say I was a mermaid but I don't <laughs> Hey, you guys. A picture, yeah, a thousand words, you're right. Does a heat gun help get the bubbles out? Yeah, because, um, definitely, because it's heating the resin and it's moving the resin. So you're doing two things at one time with a heat gun. The torch will blow the bubbles. It doesn't necessarily move your resin because you're using the torch, hopefully, um, you're staying far enough away and you're just moving it quick. And so it's going to blow those surface bubbles out but it isn't enough heat to generate to make your resin truly move, right, without scorching it. So that's why you need a heat gun. And, you know, this thing's lasted me forever. It's been through a lot. Um, I got the Wagner brand. It's had a good review, and, um, and it has, <laughs> you can take it apart. It's got screws in the handle. I've had to do that a few times because I have resined shut my, uh, my um, switch several times. So I forget to clean off my hands before I handle it. So yeah, the resin or the heat gun makes a huge difference when you're working with resin. I highly recommend that tool. And again, when you're doing it, um, you know, just like with your torch, you don't want to get this close. You don't want to scorch it. You want to move it 
and keep it back there because these heat guns get hot. I have a low and a high, but it's still hot. And um, so you don't want to get to the point where you're smoking and, and, and scorching it because then you're going to have to, you know, if it's still wet and you've done that, scrape that section off. Um, you know, smooth it out as much as you can so you're not having to sand it all down when it dries. Because trust me, it's not going to work. Uh, that scorched area is going to show and it's going to ruin your piece. So you're going to have to sand it and start over. Yeah. <clears throat> So that I'm happy with. This is really cool. That is going to, so look at it with these pictures. So that's the wreath we're going to use. The wreath with all the fishies. Yeah, it's got both of them in there. So I've got a little one and I've got the bigger one. And I'm going to put those down there. And I use, this isn't water slide. This is, um, in this case, I'm using a vinyl sticker. So um, I go back and forth between them. It just depends um, what your goal, what your objects are. And because I have so much to work with there, I like using the sticker because it keeps the color. It you know it, it's just an easy thing to put on there. Um, and I'll put some water slides for the fish and stuff like that probably around. I have mica powder all over my mouse. <laughs> Oh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. All right. So, um, I don't want to put any white in there right now. So, I'm not going to use that. So, let's clean those puppies up. And um, yeah, I can see this ridge is still not wanting to stay covered. So I'm going to put a little resin right on top. I heard about that with these cups. That people have a hard time with that little part of the ridge. So we'll just have to play with it, keep an eye on it. Now, a trick with resin, I do this with the sides of my paintings. So when you're doing resin in the beginning, it's very fluid, right? It doesn't want to stay on those um, up and down uh, vertical um, pieces very well. It'll run right off. So what happens is if you give it a little bit, your, your resin starts to get thick. You know, it gets gummy. When it gets like that, that's when you want to put it on those vertical pieces, something like this because now it's not going to run so easy and it tends to stay put. So it's just another little trick and timing issue. Get the very edge of the bottom of the cup too. Oh, and I got some cups to show you. I've been busy. Thanks for sharing all your work too, by the way, everyone. It's vital that we do um, share our work for a couple of reasons. One, you need to you need that feedback. You need to feel good about what you're doing from a populist standpoint. Get that feedback from your supporters and friends, right? That's important. Um, let's face it, we're artists. We need that support. And um, and it helps the group. It helps other people learn. So that's what we're about. So thank you. You guys have been doing some beautiful work. Just getting the rim of the cup. Mom's here. <laughs> Alrighty, that's beautiful. 
Yeah, it really has turned out pretty. Yeah, I really like that color. Okay, so we did our beer mugs the other day, right? <clears throat> I haven't put resin on them yet, but I've got them sealed. And, um, <laughs> see if I can show it this way. Yeah. So, um, I got those sealed, ready to go. So I'm going to resin those here pretty soon. Aren't those pretty? All right, so I got those done. Or, you know, almost done. Um, oh, you guys didn't see this one. I decided I needed a NASA cup again. I got rid of, I had sold my space one that I had before. So I wanted another one for my show. This is the tall, skinny 20 ounce. And actually, let me show you on this one. I'll bring you up here. Okay, there we go. So I've got them on the moon. I've got Earth in the background. And there's our space shuttle and our little astronaut. I've got a delay on my video, so yeah. I have to remember <laughs> that. <laughs> This is gorgeous. Isn't that fun? Yes. Yeah, I really like that. It's going to look great with those decals. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't think I showed this one yet. I needed a pelican cup, so I did a water bottle with my pelican. Yeah, thanks. There goes the hearts. <laughs> I love pelicans. I don't know why I didn't have them before. Somebody at one of my shows asked for pelicans. I've got seagulls. I got turtles. <laughs> I'm like, no pelicans. Um, and then, okay. And then I finished my. Remember on the live, I was doing the um, Northern Lights. So I finished that. Let's see how you see that one. Yeah, wait for the delay. There we go. <laughs> it's confusing. Now yes. you can see. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. And then there's the trees. For those of us with a little dyslexia, that's. Uh... Yeah, everything backwards <laughs> and slow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the twenty ounce. Um, the built or no, this is the um, this is the oak cup. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have that one done. Now, now let's see how I'm gonna turn you around to do this one. We're going to come over here. Get you set up so you can see this one. key is, because I have the cords there, I need to make sure I'm moving my laptop, so give me a second. Let me get all the cords up. Alright, so I shouldn't pull anything. Around we go. Where she stops, nobody knows. Need the turner. There we go. Hey, nothing crashed. Woohoo! Okay, I gotta wait for the lag to catch up. <laughs> I've got such a lag on here, so it's like I'm waiting for it to catch up. Uh, we've lost a few viewers. That's all right. They don't know what they're missing. You love the Northern, Northern Lights Cup? Yeah, Lisa, that, that was a fun one to make. It's not... Um, the, the type of cup I normally do, but, uh, you know, a lot of people like them, so I thought I'd put one in my show. 
I use, yeah, I use baby wipes, um, but that isn't all I use. So just during the show or during something I'm doing in transition, I'll wipe up with a, with a baby wipe. And then when I'm all done, um, you know, then I clean everything up. Then I go out there and I wash my hands, soap and water. I want to make sure I get all that residue and all the rubbing alcohol and anything I used on my hands off. Um, and then I put lotion on because, boy, this stuff will dry you. Um, what'd you get from Amazon, Lisa? Oh, a heat gun? Did you get a heat gun from Amazon? Hey, Marilyn. Yep, you're still here. <laughs> okay. All right, so this cup, see, I put little notes on my cup so I remember the plan. Um, this one I'm going to do a beach cup again, but it's going to have the sky and sandy bottom for the beach is kind of what I was thinking because I don't have, I sold all my 20 ounce uh, beach cups. So I've got to, since I'm over by the beach, I definitely need more beach cups. Oh, hey, also real quick, what do y'all think of this design? This is a water bottle. Uh, let's see here, let me, let me show you on the camera this way. Okay, it's a water bottle. Um, I love the size of these water bottles. This is the concept I came up with. I'll get it up close there. And then bring you back so you see the whole thing. Honest opinions. I haven't resined it yet, so I'm trying to figure out if I like it or not. That is my version of a tennis cup or water bottle. Yeah, you know, Lisa, I, I did a second layer um, because I remember, you know, the next morning when it dried, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't bright enough. It wasn't um, stand out enough. And so I did another layer on it and then coated that with the resin um, when I put on my uh, images. Oh, you got mica powders, yay! Oh, the cup view is blurry. Getting things ready for the blizzard tomorrow. Oh, Annette, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're up in um, uh, the... the Northeast, right? You're up there in, in Portland, or uh, Portland. Um, I want to say Boston area, but I'm probably wrong. You like it? Okay, good, good. So is the concept there? Do you guys get that it's tennis? I mean, it, the net and everything? I just wanted to do something a little light. I didn't, you know, because everything tennis is so formal. Great, thank you. Oh, you're in Nebraska. Oh, you're getting you're getting winter weather there again. They must have another one coming through then, because Minnesota's been hit a lot. Now that's over on the northeast side. I think they finally hit a, a record again. North Minnesota did. Ah, come on. So <laughs> I have all these turners. I have six turners. And they're, you know, all plugged in on my surge protector on the table. And I have to laugh because all my plugs, all my uh, cables, you know, are white. They're all the same. So at one point, they were all spidered together, twisted up. And I was like, what the heck? Which one goes to what? So I color-coded everything. I took them outside and spray-painted them. <laughs> so this one has blue on it, so the blue switch, you know. <laughs> so now I can find them without having to think about which one is what. Maybe even tornadoes. Oh, be safe. I tell you, this weather is crazy. Just crazy. Last month of hell. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get back on soon. Okay, you be safe. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't envy everybody up north. I tell you, that is not fun. Oh, you know, I didn't grab my resin. Let me grab it. <clears throat> All right. 
Now these little guys don't take as much resin as we just did on that big cup. And you know what would be cool in this beach one? <laughs> How about some secret sauce? I think that would be a pretty cup. What do y'all think? Let me grab it. I'll be right back. Thankfully, I have another bag of this stuff. I'm going through it pretty quick. <laughs> so if you didn't catch it before, this is the Whirlyville Designs. Um, I'll put it up on this one. Whirlyville Designs Secret Sauce. So look at that. That is that is gorgeous. And it's real fine, which I really like. It shines right through your, if you don't put the pigments on too heavy, it shines right through those with your um, alcohol inks, which is why I want to use it tonight. Okay, so once again, we're going to lay out our colors. Now, because I'm using um, my sand, I have some or acrylic paints as well. I find, for me and my gold, I use this gold metallic paint. I mix him in for some of the beach, and I'm going to use some of the mica mixed in there too. That'll create my beach color. Alrighty, and I need a stick. A stir stick. Yeah, they do make some of the prettiest cups. Franken Frankenmuth. Hope weather stays good here. Where is Frankenmuth? Where are you? Where are you? That sounds German. I'm going to go ahead and mix up 10 milliliters. It's more than I need, I believe. Ten milliliters of each is under an ounce, so I'm not using quite as much as I did on the other cup, of course. When you um, divide your resin and use it in your colors, you need more than you normally do if you're just doing one layer on the cup. You know, and sometimes you don't use all of those colors that you've mixed, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I love that Nikki sauce, I'm telling you. Oh, you can't, yeah. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Got it coming this way. Can you see both cameras? Michigan. Burr. Kim, can you see it now? I have a delay, so I'm trying to, oh, it needs to come up. So I'm trying to get a figure on where we're at. Hmm, too high. We'll get there. I'm just mixing resin right now so we're not missing anything. There. Okay, yeah, this will get better. Might have to move it back a little bit more yet. too far that way.
little adjustments, but it is quite the lag. All right, so now I'm gonna pour these in. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. So I need five. Yep, I got five cups. There. Now I'm just putting, I'm parceling out my resin into the different cups. And then we're going to put some mica powders in them. And this one, um, not 100% yet what I want to, if I'm going to put anything on it. I might leave this one. If it turns out the way I think it's going to turn out, I think I'll just leave him as is, beach wise. Okay. There's my five. I need so little of this one. Actually, he's very little. Yeah. I'm just looking at how much I have of what. I don't need a whole lot of anything, really. Alrighty. Okay, so this is the acrylic. I've just got um, folk art metallic gold. I use very, very little of that. When you're putting acrylic paint, it's it's a water-based paint, into resin, you just need like a little tiny drop. I mean like a little bit more than on, on your, um, like that. In this case, I don't have that much resin either. So you don't need a lot, okay? And that's a little translucent, so just a little touch more. on that lid. Like just letting a drop fall in there. That's all I'm doing. So it's a little translucent, which is fine because it's for the beach. I'm going to, I'm going to have some, uh, pigment powder or uh, mica powder to go with it. Let's see, I need another stick. Don't want to put my wet stick in there. Yeah, we've almost got the whole cup. Come back a little bit. Yeah, backing it up now. Yeah, you like that, Kristen? I'm using something called OBS Open Software um, to create this dual screen. Once I got the hang of it, you know, once I figured out whatever they meant on the on the screen and how to do it, then it was it felt easy, right? Always does. Okay, we're just getting the mica powder sorted out. And I've got a few different colors here than what I used on the other cup. All right, now <clears throat> put in a little bit more resin because I need to mix my secret sauce.
Come on, baby. <clears throat> it is really warm down here. The humidity has kicked in. So, I am perspiring. Alright, now I've got it too far that way. There we go. I'm making little tweaks. That's the hard part with the delay. I don't get instant instant understanding of what I've done with the camera. So I have to wait till it catches up. Good grief. I didn't even move that hardly at all. And the secret sauce goes in. a lot of secret sauce. Now when you use it make sure you shake the the bag or the bottle because you want to get that powder mixed in with your glitter. I'm not really concerned with it glowing at this point for this particular design. Look how pretty. That is so pretty. It sparkles. It's like holographic. <laughs> Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> so, let me set this down. Alright, now we're going to put this on. And you just want a light coat. Put that on underneath it. And we'll heat it up. When you're mixing your glitter in with your resin, remember less is more, right? Doesn't seem like a lot at the time. Get the bottom real good. Yeah, okay, now we got the view. Hey, <laughs> took a few tries. I'm going to heat this up, get it moving a little bit. I'm going to grab my trash can, guys. I need to throw this stuff in there. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's get that heated up. I've got my door open behind me, so let in some cool air. Okay, he's starting to move. He's a moving. Alrighty. Get the other stick back. Now we're going to start putting our resins on with the colors. Alright, so I've got like a light blue here. And I'm going to introduce my aquas through my alcohol inks. Y'all still see okay?
these kind of cups to me you know when you have the freedom to do a design that you want to do that's the most fun um, sometimes you have a constraint you know this is something specific that somebody wants or what have you and that's still fun but um, when you're just free to do something that's that's in your head it's pretty cool so my goals I mentioned before I had some some of my own goals and um, my business goals were that you know I get into more shows and I decided that um, I'm not doing shows in the summer down here because it's just way too hot I'd, I'd pass out and um, so based on that knowledge then I said okay well then I want to do shows uh, from January to March and then I'll do shows um, like September well October really to, to December because it's still pretty hot in September and I am reaching that so far I've got a show coming up the end of this month and that'll be my last one until winter fall you know, truly fall So I decided I am not going to do a sky on this one because I have the beach. I really just want the water. Plus, I need to get some more white alcohol ink. You know, I went to Hobby Lobby, like I said, and bought all my alcohol inks, and they did not have any white. That's my luck. So guess where I'm going? Amazon. Got to order some more white. Oops, didn't want to drag him up that way. It's all right, I'll get him down. Okay, that's enough of that color for now. I don't want to too darken it. And you want to make sure you get your mica powders mixed in good. You don't want those little granules showing up. I have to say, if there's an addiction, I am addicted to color, and I am addicted now to the Nikki Secret Sauce. What it's doing to this cup is just, ooh, beautiful. Okay, let's get the beach on there. Plate only does so much for picking up the paint drops if I get it underneath right. It's getting stringy. Yeah, it's making for a pretty beach. Don't forget about your bottoms. Okay, so I think that's all I want to do, but I'm going to hang on to these colors for now. I'll just set them on this plate. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of our ink.
And I'm going to put it in those empty spots. That's a pretty one. And then, when I'm done adding the ink, we're going to heat it up, let it move, and watch the magic. Isn't that the fun part? It's kind of like Christmas. You don't know what you're getting until you start doing it. And it's like, ooh, you either love it or you gotta fix it. <laughs> uh, let's see, which one are you? Um, Try this one. A little more blue. That olive was a little too olive. Okay. All right, now we're going to heat this up. Let's see what we got. You ready? Are we ready? Ready? Um, what's hard to see? Are y'all having a hard time? Something's blurry? The camera's blurry? Let's see if that helped. Is that better? Oh, good, Ange. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It was probably too sparkly. I bet it was reflecting light. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I get heads down putting this stuff on. I didn't catch your comment about it. where we watch it spin. Yeah, baby, that's pretty. Wow. That's looking really cool. You just ordered the sauce. <laughs> Did she get more in, Marilyn? Yeah, please do, Ange. We've got, um, we just finished another uh, underwater cup that I did that's going to have scuba diving and reefs and stuff on it, so... That really, I think, came out pretty cool. I think what I want to do, I want to add a little of the blue. Shouldn't have put that darker green in there. I'm not real happy with that color, but we can fix it.
Yeah, that's what it needed. A little more blue. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm pull away from that lip area a little bit. Yeah, what do you think of that one? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Marilyn. It is a must-have. This is now my new staple is that secret sauce. And, you know, it's interesting. Um, I don't want to oversaturate something in, in my line, but um, I don't think that's possible with this one. It, it, I've used it in so many different looks. Like, okay, we've got that one. This is another one. Um, you know, a little darker but a whole different look to it. I mean, it's crazy. I used it in my, uh, in my space cup. Right? And it looks so different in these cups. So, I'm having fun with it. I love this style of cup, too. This is the Arctic 20 ounce. And, uh, I think it's such a cute cup. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the beach looks good too. Bring him down a little bit again. This one's moving a little bit funny. Let me grab a uh, popsicle stick. Sometimes <clears throat> if I get the PVC off of the uh, there, let it smoother, give it a smoother turn, it won't um, chatter on me. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, two cups. Oh, I use this brand here. It's the um, Moss, M-A-S brand. It's off of uh, Amazon. It's a countertop resin, and it's out of St. Paul, Minnesota. I really like them. They send um, all kinds of great information with their resin, and uh, it's been, I've used them now, phew, I think I've been using them about a year now. And um, I really like them. I've probably used 10 different resins up to this point. So this is my go-to resin now. And they've stayed fairly consistent on their pricing. Yeah, I like what he's doing now. That's pretty. Now you can tell that olive green that I had in there, he's now been blended. He's getting the deeper look that I was looking for. I didn't want that olive necessarily, but I wanted a deep, deep ocean color. So now... You can see, I mean, it almost looks like when you're looking out at your ocean, you're seeing those depths, right, that we talked about, your shallows, your depths. So I'm really liking the look of this. So much prettier in person. I'm looking at the screen and wow, it's very, very pretty in person. Okay. So that took us a little time. So um, 
I think that's all I'm going to do tonight. We're doing some lives this weekend, right? So I have a live I'm going to do tomorrow afternoon. I will uh, message in the group um, what time I'm going to set that live. If you're not in the group, it's on my banner page there, Tumblers and Resin Art. So feel free to um, come join us. Uh, we're going to learn how to make this particular um, turner, the one we're using right now. So um, on the down low cheap. <laughs> it doesn't take that long to put it together, um, but I figure, you know, do it in the afternoon when I'm a little bit more up, uh, not so tired feeling. You know, by the nighttime you're kind of tired. So it's easier to do that kind of thing in the daytime. And then um, tomorrow night or Sunday, I'll do another live, maybe and do a couple more cups or come back and show you. I'm thinking I'll do a live on decals. Um, how many of you, uh, you know, are comfortable doing your decals, right? Your, either your water slides or your vinyl, um, that kind of thing. So I figure this might help. The other thing I want to show you. Get this up real quick. <clears throat> I put this together too. This is with the PVC, um, PVC, uh, let me get the camera up here a little bit so you can see. Um, I use PVC and I pieced these together and I put the noodles, so it's a stand. And what it does is it will hold the cup or the bottle or whatever, right? So when you're sitting at your desk and your table, um, and you are putting your decals on, you're trying to get them straight, this helps you do that, okay? So that was easy to make, it's just elbows, and then you just figure out how big you want it um, for the pieces of pipes in between the elbows, and then two of these cross, cross PVC pipes, you know? So you can just stick everything in and make a four-way turn. Real simple. And then, also out of the PVC, I made a stand. I saw somebody using one of these, and um, just from memory, I made mine. So what I did, again, just um, I used three-quarter PVC on the stand, on the base, and then this is a half inch. I had a half inch um, available. And again, just elbows right here, and a T right here in the middle. And then I just cut my, my pipes to fit the size that I wanted. These are six inches here, and two cap ends so that they don't snag on something. And the reason I have this is, and I use a noodle when I need to use a noodle, but uh, let's see. Okay, this one's not ready to go, but um, so like air, when I was doing the airbrushing, this is a great thing to do when you're um, trying to touch something up. If you're doing something from the base, you could even do some decals if that works that direction for you. So it's just a nice way to um, have something stable. So again, something to use your, your PVC for. All kinds of fun stuff. Oh, Marilyn, that's awesome. Just made you a turner. Good for you. Good for him. Yeah, I love these turners. And like I said, they're Frankensteins for me because I, from one to the next, I modify them. I change up something I didn't like on it or what have you. But... They're fairly easy to make, but those, all the other turners I have, I had to cut wood. Um, I made one turner out of all PVC. Um, that was my first one. And then the rest I cut wood. But this one we just decided, let's see how it works with a small crate, right? No cutting, um, just cutting of the pipe. That's it. So, <laughs> yeah. So um, we can talk about more of the specifics of those things. If you want to know how to make those too, I can give you the sizes I did and the parts. Uh, when we do the tumbler um, build tomorrow, okay? So look for that live tomorrow. I will put an announcement out there on the time so you have kind of an expectation. And if you haven't already, please like and share my um, Facebook page, my business page, the Blackwell Art Corner. And uh, that will also notify you when I do lives because I start them on that page as well. And then I share them into our group, okay? Thanks everyone for joining. It's been fun. Nice Friday night. Be safe in this weather. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.